Africa. Well, of course, to take me through the memorial lecture, I'm joined in our studios by the CEO of the Oliver and Adelaide Tambo Foundation, Mr. Mavuso Msimang. So thank you so much for your time. Welcome. Thank you very much, Tumelo. When was the foundation first and initially created, and, and why was it created, sir? The foundation was created at the request of the Tambo family children. Uh, the mother and father had both died, and they had, throughout their lives, spent an inordinate amount of time mm. fighting for the liberation of South Africa, the freedom that we have today. So the aim was to ensure that a re very rich legacy of commitment to liberation is preserved and use what attributes the two had in a manner that would fulfill, that would advance the requirements of society today. Now one could talk about each one of them since they were separate individuals. Tambo OR is better known for having led the ANC for a long time in exile and kept it intact Mrs. Tambo Adelaide also played a very significant role uh, while in exile. Her house looked virtually after anybody who turned up as a South African refugee, but she was very active in international organizations, women's organization, Afro-Asian uh, solidarity movements, all of them promoting the, um, the liberation, the fight for the liberation of yeah. South Africa. So the foundation, has been established building on the attributes of the two. Mm. If I start with Adelaide, she really had a lot of time for the infirm. She was a nurse by profession, very professionally trained person. The infirm, uh, so uh, people that uh, fell uh, to HIV AIDS, uh, the aged, she, she, she took particular time, she resigned from parliament to make sure that she supported those kinds of causes. Mm. Now, Oliver Tambo, a man of very, very many talents. Yeah, yeah. Um, just to talk about him and what relevance uh, his attributes have to our current time. He was an outstanding mathematician and mm. physician. He taught a lot of uh, people uh, that he was at St. Peter's uh, in Rosettenville here. Mm -hmm. He was very good in uh, sport. Yeah. He played cricket, played football. Uh, he would swim, he was a horse rider, uh, all of that. Yeah. But he also loved music, choral music. Mm -hmm. uh, as an outstanding physics and science uh, student, uh, I think it comes handy now to use this to promote the teaching of maths and science in South Africa, which, as you know, is pretty much in yeah. a difficult state. And please then take me through the memorial lecture. I understand it's taking place on the 27th of October, which is this coming Tuesday in Twani. Kindly take me through the format, yeah. um, some of the speakers that are involved in this memorial lecture. Good, you should ask that because it's called a lecture. Traditionally, it's a lecture, you know, the Nelson Mandela lecture, the Sulu lecture, Tambo lecture. We decided to format it as a panel discussion get people who had experience of living, working with these people to be panelists. And the topic actually is Sisulu, Mandela, and Tambo. What was their legacy to democracy in South Africa? Mm. So the panelists will talk about what they knew of these people who were leaders at the same time, who had, um, who really fought together for all the time, and see really if there is anything at all that we claim to be a legacy mm. for current South Africa. How, what's there in them? I can tell you lots of things, but uh, it can be challenged. Be nice to have people discuss this in the debate, and we should allow people in the audience to Absolutely. ask questions. Yeah. yeah. And those speakers are? The speakers will be uh, the Reverend Frank Chikani, mm. uh, Dr. Brigelia Bam, who was the first um, chairperson of the IEC. Yes, uh, Chikani was uh, the DG at, uh, at the presidency for some time, but he also was very involved in the UDF. And then we have Mac Maharaj, who mm -hmm. served with uh, these three gentlemen in prison, uh, in politics in South Africa, and in exile. Mm -hmm. So you've got people who know these three persons that we believe must be introduced to current-day South Africa yeah. and, and talk about them.
and some of the partners, Mr. Simang, that have you know assisted or come on board to ensure that you know the memorial lecture is a success. Who do they include? Well, we have the Department of uh, DECO, what is it called? DECO, Department of International Relations, Relations yes. and Cooperation. <laughs> you know, we use this acronym so frequently. <laughs> <Yes>. um, <clears throat> they, their head office actually is called Oliver Tambo House. Right. Or is it Oliver Tambo Building? Yes. So the, the lecture will take place there at 6 o'clock on Tuesday. On the 27th, which is O.R. Tambo's birthday, um, the other support has consistently come over the years from Eguruleni. Tambo and, and the Tambo family lived in Binoni. And when he left for exile, having been assigned to set up the ANC abroad and support for the ANC abroad, he, he came back and went to Binoni. And so he's really their first citizen. And uh, they always hold in October, month long, uh, activities in honor of Tambo. There is a music festival that takes place at the end of the month. There are debates among school children, uh, all those things uh, in honor of Tambo. So these are the two key partners, but also AXA. You, do, are you familiar yes. with the OR Tambo International Airport? Yes. You know, AXA. No, we have to. <laughs> AXA happened to, to own that. So right. they've also chipped in to uh, make sure that um, the lecture is a success. It's success. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Simang Fushi. That's all the time we had for you. But we're hoping that, um, you know, this memorial lecture is open to the public to come and form part of the conversation and dialogues that will take place there. Thank you very much for the time you've given us. The lecture will indeed, one wants to invite as many people as right. can come. We issue uh, email invitations. But I think if mm -hmm. people feel strongly that they can make it, yeah. they'll be most welcome. All right, thank you so much. The CEO of the Oliver and Adelaide Tambo Foundation, Mr. Mavusom Sima, thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you.